There's no low hum. I hear a low hum. It's a professional content creator! Is this part of the show? I'm super confused. It's food day, yeah. <laughs> this is our home. Oh, damn. Well, welcome to, uh, welcome to, uh, Beej and Graham from What a Great Run, the Dubai Friday after show. Yeah, okay. Because this is his birthday. It is, is it really? It's his birthday right? Wednesday. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. So he's gonna lose his fucking mind. <laughs> Good. And I what? can't wait. He's welcome to come back and come on. The, like, tell him he has a standing invite to come in and throw it. <laughs> that will be the finest birthday present of all. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks, Gwen. We got to be on Dubai Friday, sort of, the Dubai Friday after, after show thing, uh, which was fun and very, very silly, and I had no concept of if it was even recording, but that was great. And, um, yeah. Uh, it's uh, hi. It's Tuesday, by the way. I didn't record anything this morning. We just sort of went right into it, and um, yeah, we're 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 back at the cards office, but we're gonna take off. Good lord, it's quarter past two, um, and I think we're gonna head over to Jackbox and see those folks, and maybe try to try to figure out if we can eat something. Maybe they'll have food there. Okay. Hi, we've just met <laughs> Quinn. I haven't actually met Quinn. Hi, Quinn. I'm Graham. Hi. Uh, Quinn was listening to the whole the whole uh, thing that we just recorded, mm -hmm. and you, you used to live in Maine and worked as a bartender. Please tell us about this terrible drink. Okay, so I brought this up because you guys were talking about uh, Bloody Caesars, which yeah. is a very popular drink at this bar I used to work at. Because it's a it's a Canadian. Th it's like a Bloody yeah. Mary, but with clam juice. Mm -hmm. Um, but the, I was just telling them that the other most popular drink there was called a blue drink, and the blue drink is maybe about a shot and a half of lemon Bacardi, um, ice, and blue Gatorade. It's and just called was, blue drink. It's blue drink, and it was probably the most popular drink at this bar. So I'm not going to go to bars in Maine, I guess. <laughs> just not this specific one. <laughs> There's a lot of very good restaurants in Maine, but not where I lived. Uh, I okay. lived way up north. <laughs> right, right, so. right near the border. Yeah. Okay. Blue drink. <laughs> ben, I got a new challenge for you. <laughs> Alex, thank you so much. That was super fun. Oh, thank you. We love doing craziness on this show. I had no idea that it was just actively recording as soon as we stepped into the room. Oh, yeah. This, we just didn't turn it off the recording, so it was just like... Like, I started I was like, recording... Arm all the tracks. <laughs> it's bright. Um, okay, we're just waiting for a yet further lift. Spent a lot on lifts this weekend. Yeah. But, uh, don't have a car, so. And I feel like if we'd rented one, we would have just gotten into accident after accident. Yeah, everyone in Chicago drives like they don't want to live. Oh, well, here's our lift. Yep. Whoever's in charge of the intercom obviously did not know we were coming. <laughs> so I was like, hey, scram beach from loading ready run. And it was like, okay. Well, Allard knows we're coming. I didn't know this, but we're visiting Jackbox Games and you, I'm, I'm signing an NDA, so you're not gonna get to see very much. Of what? I don't even know yet. But you don't, you don't get to come with me for this. Sorry. Uh, Beach and I are sitting in a conference room waiting for to waiting to see something. They have noisy upstairs neighbors. Yeah, maybe it's somebody falling through the floor of a ring. Yeah, we're waiting to see something that uh, you don't know. There's nothing behind me, is there? Uh, your head's blocking the whiteboard, and there's not really anything on the whiteboard. Great. So, yeah. Nothing on the whiteboard. Here's a blank, blank piece of paper. I'll obscure more of the whiteboard. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing. I don't know what we're about to see. Well, that was fun. Yeah. We got to take a little sneaky look at what will have been announced by the time you see this, the Jackbox Party Pack 6, featuring Trivia Murder Party 2, which was announced at PAX, which is why I'm telling you that now. And other things that you, you can't know about. But also we didn't get to play. But also, yeah, we also didn't play anything else. <laughs> so now we're going to get over to the train station and uh, leave our luggage there, and hopefully for a little while. Sorry, I was trying to get out of the building real quick. We're going to Union Station 
to put our bags in, well, I was going to say lockers, but it sounds like they don't have lockers. They have like a bag check. Yeah. And then we're going to go, I don't know, kill like, still like six hours. Uh, no. <laughs> Not six. Like Four? Uh, yeah, four hours. Okay. Three and a half. I'm glad I brought gloves because my hand is about to fall off. Yeah. Right now we're waiting for a lift. Found Union Station. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now we got to go in and see where we can leave bags. Wait. Why is the main entrance on this side of the street? Yeah. Be the next one. Okay. Despite that big sign, we're actually in the building across the street because that's where it said the main entrance was. And we got partway through the whole uh, baggage procedure to pay. I mean, he was he was cutting us a deal. He was he looked at our seven bags and was like. That looks like about five bags worth of stuff, so it was going to be 50 bucks. And then he just sort of casually said, but wait, you're not in a sleeper, are you? And we said, yes, we are. <laughs> and he said, oh, well, then you can go and store these for free. So we are. Holy crap. Uh, so not only... Is there a lounge? Because we chose the sleeper car, but we get free, well, it's self-serve, but free... Um, temporary storage. Temporary storage. And complimentary drinks and snacks. So the only problem is they have to check our ticket every time we come in. What a hardship. What a hardship, yeah. We're gonna go shopping, and we're just gonna look for a duffel, because um, one of our bags is falling apart. Sparkling water. Oh. Holy moly. This is a this is a train station. Oh, I like this place. This is really cool. Yeah. And this is not like this is not even like the largest of train stations that have been manufactured. Oh no. Clearly, but man, I, I've, man. I've been to England. <laughs> but this is pretty sweet. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to this train. I'm looking forward to dinner. This train station's amazing. It's not, frankly, not what I expected from an Amtrak station. Turns out they have nice train stations in the States. Have you ever gone on a train in the States? I never have. Me neither. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing came out. There's so many smokestacks all over Chicago. And it seems like some number of them are still in operation and some of them are like, well, there's always been a smokestack here, so now we're going to point lights at it. This, for, for whatever reason, thanks to popular media, this feels very Chicago to me. Yeah. The rusted out, like, rail trestle directly over the current active road. That's, that's Chicago that I know from movies and video games. Watch Dogs was basically Chicago. Ah. It was about the only thing the game had going for it. They have a beer flight of exclusive beers to here. And right now, the trio is a Lambic, an Amber Ale, and a Milk Stout, and I'm so excited. That was an astounding meal. Yeah, what a hell of a place. At the Publican. Absolutely wonderful. And uh, now we're gonna walk back to the station. We still don't have to board for like an hour. Yeah. We've, we've also been learning all sorts of fun stuff about our tickets, <laughs> <laughs> which we maybe could have looked up sooner, but it looks like not only do we get our meals included, but that we can eat them in the room, the roomette, if we want to. The roomette, which is uh, 
has a, a footprint large enough for two seats and a toilet that just sits in the room. Yep. Which is going to be a, considering the meal we just ate, is a, a dangerous proposition for both of us. Yeah. And then the two seats go together into a bed that is six foot six in length, which will be mine. Yep. And then the second berth folds down for a bed that is six foot two in length, which, which will is be mine. Beaches. And, uh, yeah, I didn't real. I thought we were just like, <laughs> gonna sleep in a... We got the sleeper car because it was the whole thing. Here's, okay, here's what's up. We decided to get the sleeping car for the train because it's 23 hours we're on this thing. And the, the, the cost benefit breakdown is essentially, if you were doing this as a trip, that's a different sort of budget thing. But we knew that because we're doing C2E2 and then PAX East, we didn't want to fly home for two days and fly back. And doing this, doing the overnight train, saves on Beej and I, that's two tickets, flying from Chicago to Boston and an extra night of hotel. So given that, we were like, well, heck, the sleeper car is still cheaper than doing all of that. Yeah. We're just discovering that apparently meals are included, which makes this a phenomenally better deal, yeah. even if the meals are maybe not amazing. We, we don't know yet. Yeah. I'm excited, yeah. honestly. There's no downsides to what's happening right now. No. You are in a Jimmy John's sandwich delivery zone. Remain vigilant, or a sandwich may be delivered to you at any moment without warning. Beach, I need some smells, but I don't have any American cash on me. Oh! Oh, they're closed. All their signage uses, Beach noticed this actually, props to Beach. All their signage uses Futura and it looks very nice. Oh yeah. I love that the music is just really subtle. <laughs> yeah. Just this is the most ass covering. It's under surveillance, but they're not responsible. It's the, the most ass coveringest like, non-committal. You know what I love actually about this? Is that I just, being here, what got me initially was that I feel like I'm in a Wes Anderson film all of a sudden. Oh yeah. Right? This will now be the boarding announcement for train 48 and 448, which is the same train for Lake Shore Limited which has a 9.30 p.m. departure. Your train is now boarding on track 26. When that train gets to Albany, it splits. 48 goes to New York, 448 goes to Boston. We even get to board first, which is neat. This feels so weird, it's so late at night. <laughs> Nobody knew what car we were on, and it's not easily readable on the thing. So we're at four. Okay, we're at forty-eight twenty. So we're like way at the front. Straight ahead, sleeper business class, sleeper business class. Straight ahead. We're just sleeper, right, Beach? I think so. Yeah. Okay. I don't think we got business class. Oh, here's the cafe. Room H. Are they numbered? I said 005 on the ticket, so. Room five? Room five. All right, it's gonna be on this side. Okay.
Oh, hey, look at that. Welcome aboard, Graham and Brendan. Terrific. Well, it's small, but it's ours. I guess this slides down on a rail. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's where I'll be later tonight. Probably store some stuff up there for the time being. There's a luggage oh, thing overhead. up there. Excellent. Okay. <coughs> I mean, this is, I, this is as much as you need. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't bring my chess pieces. Oh, damn it. I still don't know <laughs> about having a toilet in, to point that straight down. Where I'm standing. That's the toilet. That's where, I mean, I guess we're, We've decided by putting our bags down that that's where Beach is sitting. I'm sitting there. I don't think... I don't think either of us want to use that toilet while the other person... If Beach is sitting there and I'm sitting beside him on the toilet, or if Beach is sitting there facing me... Hmm. I have to assume what happens is, uh, if it's like, I have to use the toilet, it's like, great, I'm gonna go stand outside and not think about that. <laughs> I love this. So we're, we're extra full after dinner, which is good because I don't know if you, I tried to record it. I don't know if you heard it. We don't get a meal tonight, but we do get breakfast, lunch, and dinner tomorrow because we get in about 24 hours from now because it's, well, it's 10 past nine. So there's a fan. Okay, there's some kind of fan that's currently off. This is where the coats are. Uh, oh, Beach has it. There we go. Two of them. Excellent. And you and I both have splitter bricks. Yeah. So we should be good. I have to know what this looks like. Yep, there's just a whole ass toilet right there. Dry. I bet it's dry because no, why would you use it? This car has roomettes like this on both sides. Whereas the next car over that we walked through to get here has full-on like business class sleeper rooms and that has the more like you've seen in movies the more traditional hallway on one side of the car i'll be your attendant all the way until your final stop of boston welcome aboard graham and brandon thank you i'm veronica i'm graham i'm brendan all right nice to meet you gentlemen just wanted to give you a little bit of information about your room um right here we have your lovely commode and sink combo there is another facility located in the cafe car, which is the next car right behind us. Um, located above your headrest is control of your light features. Um, over here in the corner, we have your fan thermostat and your call button. Also inside of our car, we have a drink station. We have water, juice, ice. Coffee is available tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m. We also have a shower room. It has everything that you're going to need to take a shower. I have uh, complimentary drink cards for you, gentlemen. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You can redeem them either in the cafe car or the sleeping car lounge, which is approximately six cars in the opposite direction. Free drinks. Your drinks. Right. Beach is the designated driver. I know how to pilot a train. Oh, we are underway. When we were boarding the train, she listed like a dozen, maybe a, <coughs> maybe like 15 places that we this train passes through on its way to Boston, and I'd heard of like four or five of them. Like Syracuse, wait, Syracuse? No. Yeah, Syracuse. Yeah, Syracuse, Toledo, Schenectady, Utica. It's a regional dialect, and like one other, but there was a lot of smaller ones that I'm like, I haven't heard of any of those ever. There it is. It's way over there, but you can just see the Marriott, the big red line on the side of the building. Uh, later, Chicago. Hope to see you next year. So they're not, I mean, it's, it's, it's nighttime. So until we estimate 5.30 or 6 a.m., you're not gonna see anything outside, um, but they have just announced for the third time that the cafe car is open for another hour, so...
drink ticket, I guess. And in the morning, you guys will all go to the I mean, it's not like Stella's high on my list, but it's free. It'd be rude not to. Mm. Getting the room changed. I will see you in the morning. Great. Thank you. No problem at all. It's terrific. Stopped in Elkhart, Indiana, and uh, Veronica's just changed our room over to bedtime. And uh, this is this is not bad. It's big enough for me. Like reminder, I'm six three, and I'm. Um, I ain't touching the other end. This is awesome. I, so when we used to camp um, in an RV, my parents had a, uh, in the trailer we had, we had a honcho bed up top as well. So it was about always about this far. You only get about that much space, like from here to here. I didn't expect this was going to come down as far as it did. So I was like, I was prepared to kind of like sleep like coffin style. I got to be 12 years old and to the point where it was like, if I, I couldn't roll onto my shoulders when I got into bed. <laughs> It, I was that wide by that point. It's just like I couldn't do it. So I didn't have to sleep up there anymore, which is nice. So you don't really have to roll in. There's lots of room up here. Holy shit. Oh, God. This is awesome. <laughs> like, again, I'm... 182 centimeters. I, like you were talking about, it's like, oh yeah, I barely just touched the end. I'm like, yeah, I don't. This is great. This is so good. I'll be very comfy up here, I think. You'll have a great view in the morning. Yeah, absolutely. I just realized I haven't actually explored this sink. No way. It just kind of just goes wham. Whoa. And it you sprays go. everywhere. You Okay, that sink is pretty sweet. Waterloo, Indiana at 1.30 a.m. Oh wow, we're gonna be in, we're gonna be in Ohio in a matter of minutes. I've learned that I had no idea where Ohio was. Okay, so it's uh, about 2.30 and we are gonna turn in, which means doing some stuff, because of course there's one power outlet. It's got two ports, one power outlet, so we gotta make sure all of our devices are charging. And uh, because I'm me, I'm gonna try and set up a time lapse to get the sunrise, and that's gonna be a fun game in and of itself. Even though I'm shooting most of this on my phone, we still have the A6500 here. Yeah. Okay. Oh good, you're just in time for me to explain this complete hack job I've done. I can't wait. So, uh, I've got the camera leaned up against the window and the gorilla pod is doing a sterling job of holding it in place. Yeah. Surprisingly so. And the cable is long enough to reach. It doesn't quite reach, it doesn't quite reach enough to hang from the handle of the bunk. Ah, yes. So what I've done is used my glove uh -huh. and tied the fingers in a knot to hold it so that it goes up and over to the plug so that I don't kick it yeah. in the night. Yeah. Uh, and then it was getting a weird reflection of the <coughs> towel shelf okay. from the window. So I've just sort of chucked my other glove kind of over top of it to stop reflection from getting in the edge of the, of the frame. Right. So now I just hope we don't hit any really hard corners and have it fall over anyway. Did you want some zip ties? Do you, do you have zip ties? What do you think? <laughs> Whether Beach has zip ties or not, we've figured out a safer plan already uh, where he so he has a power brick as well, and his is different than mine. His has a cable, so basically what we've done is 
the cable for his power brick runs up this side of the bunk and the actual brick is plugged in up top and then we plug the camera power up to his brick because his has like six ports on it. <laughs> It's rolling, and I mean, that's it for this episode because it's the end of the day. And next time you join me, uh, I'll still be on this train. So, hello, and good night. <laughs> <laughs>